Released in 1993 for the Sega Genesis, this is Soldiers of Fortune, which apparently was called the Chaos Engine on the Mega Drive in Europe. That That's actually a really cool name. Why'd they change it from the Chaos Engine? I love that. The Chaos Engine. It just, it sounds chaotic. This is a top-down action game, which is insanely difficult after the first series of levels. Thankfully, there's a password system. Prepare to memorize these steampunk-styled environments because ideally you want to shoot all of the enemies before you see them. Soldiers of Fortune, or the Chaos Engine, is far more challenging than it appears. Now, one of the things that makes this game interesting is that you have six characters to choose from. Here's a look at them. I love the 90s steampunk menus. This is a two-player game. If you're playing with a friend, your friend plays the second character on screen. If you're playing alone, the Genesis controls the second character on screen. So if you can imagine your Genesis playing, playing itself, it sounds weird. It would be cool if the Genesis had like a little mechanical arm that reached out from the expansion slot and like grabbed the controller and played the game like with the actual controller and then just sort of retracted back into the Genesis after getting you a beer and pouring it with blast processing. I could go on all week like this. Like if you could hold hands with your Sega Genesis, wouldn't you? Long walks in the park. While rocking the truckston, it, it this yeah this must happen. Someone designed this. Anyway, back to the game. You can clearly see what's going on here. You run around these top-down environments and shoot everything until it's dead. Kill stuff before it kills you. You can't strafe in Soldiers of Fortune. So while this game is somewhat similar to a game I reviewed not too long ago called Millennium Soldier Expendable on the Dreamcast. In that game, you could strafe, and that really changes gameplay. Because you have to run straight at enemies while they're shooting at you, and then turn around and run away quickly because they've already fired missiles at you. While Soldiers of Fortune is pretty cool, it does suffer from quite a bit of repetition, and the music, oh, the music is terrible. This is like as bad as any EA Sports game music. Apparently the Chaos Engine is tone deaf. Thankfully, the gameplay is fun, albeit really tough. One of the strategies you'll quickly figure out is that You'll want to choose a character that fits your play style. Ideally, I recommend one of the guys that's really powerful, and then you choose your second character who always tags along with you and kind of kind of gives backup. If the computer's playing, like they give you a bit of cover fire, but for the most part, they just end up getting themselves killed. But I definitely recommend playing this one with a friend. It's far more fun to play. But still pretty good single player if you're looking for a somewhat obscure top-down action game that's tough. Soldiers of Fortune isn't a rare game. It shouldn't cost you too much. I wish it was a bit more vibrant and colorful. I wish the music didn't sound like it does, but... Still a pretty cool game that packs some repeat gameplay. You really want to know where the enemies are before you encounter them. And you may have noticed that you collect coins and stuff after you destroy enemies. And there's keys. You can backtrack and collect keys to unlock different parts of the environments. It's kind of like Gauntlet in a way. Like you encounter these things that spawn enemies. Like the things that spawned ghosts in Gauntlet. 
Soldiers of Fortune, or the Chaos Engine, was sent to the show by David in Indianapolis, Indiana. Thank you, David, for sending a game to add to my Genesis collection because I didn't have it in my Genesis collection. And he felt like I should. It's fun. Good challenging run and gun style shooter. I love the character selection options in two player. Thank you to all of the Classic Game Room backers on Patreon supporting the internet show production. And there's a sale right now on Amazon for my ultra massive video game console guide. Also, I just released the best PlayStation 4 reviews by Classic Game Room on Amazon Prime. See you next time. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide 230 pages of video games on amazon.com retro megatrex and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck and Jesus number two welcome to the patreon lord carnage club being shouted from a turbo volcano Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.